Good day viewers and welcome back to our channel Globe Trucking Bush Baby. On our last episode on our trip through Lesotho, you would remember that we left Shelley Beach on our way through to Semong Kong Lodge via Kata's Neck. We spent a few days at Semong Kong Lodge and took you on a bit of a horse ride tour to the waterfall and then left Semon Kong for Katsi Dam. Join us in this episode, episode 2 of our trip through Lesotho, when we leave Katsi Dam and make our way through to Kubelu. Katsi Dam is a concrete arch dam on the Maliba Matso River in Lesotho. Interestingly, it is Africa's second largest double curvature arch dam. The Katsi Dam is part of Lesotho Highlands Water Project. It is an ongoing water supply project with a hydropower component that has been developed in partnership between the government of Lesotho and South Africa. On one of our previous visits to the Katsi Dam, we visited the education center and did a dam wall tour. The project comprises a system of several large dams and tunnels throughout Lesotho and delivers water to the Val River system in South Africa. In South Africa. driving out of the snow and into a bit of sunshine 
but up above there those clouds don't look too happy so we could possibly be driving into a storm we've stopped here for a bit of a lunch at the spilling station just you made made use of the restrooms had a quick pop into the supermarket up there and Kevin's in here trying to get something for us to eat what are we getting Kevin well the dagwood looks good so I think we're gonna go with the dagwood oh wow yeah that does look amazing cool. we've just left the the Kadu service station and instead of the dagwood I got a chicken burger and that looks really good with a large portion of chips diamond mine. I must say they've grown substantially from the last time we were here. It's awesome. Okay, it is about six. Yeah, six fifteen in the morning. We still lying in bed, and it is snowing out there. So it looks like we're going to be stuck here for a couple of days. Oh, well, we're going to have a look at the pass and see if we can get out. 
But yeah, interesting times. A very good morning from a very, very snowy Lesotho. It's day six of our little exped expedition. As Kevin showed you this morning, it started snowing at around half past six, or probably earlier, but that's when we woke up. And yeah, this is what we are opening it up to. Snow, snow, snow. Exciting, but also very stressful because we need to get out today. And if you guys can remember the pass that we came through last night, it was pretty steep. So, pretty steep, pretty rocky, with lots of loose stuff. Good morning, everybody. Well, folks, it looks like we are snowed in for now. The pass that we came down is impossible. Um, so we're going to have to just sit it out and wait and see what happens. This is what we have for now. It's beautiful though, stunning, absolutely stunning. So this is the Kubelu Lodge that we're camping at. It's closed at the moment. It's, they want to renovate it apparently, it's a community lodge. Um, built by the mine, the Retsing Mine. For the community to get some funding from and the letting mine supported it in terms of its people staying here when they needed to but letting mine is building their own camp or accommodation it's a beautiful lodge but as i said closed now the locals want to renovate apparently And it sits on the, just above the Kobelu River. Heating up the gas cylinder. Doesn't want to vaporize otherwise. Here we go. Oh, well there done. We <laughs> okay, Kevin, so tell us what you're cooking in there. Snow. Well, I can see a bit of sky. Looks like the weather's clearing out a bit. Well, we can hope. Gorgeous, nevertheless. Lovely fire going. Kevin's put up some wind and storm breakers. And he's getting the coffee going. What more could a girl ask for? To the lodge that we camped outside last night. The locals have opened up for us. They've been kindly 
but they've kindly allowed us to use the place to keep warm. And yeah, Kevin's brought the fire in. It's a lot warmer. It's a beautiful um, communal lounge kitchen area. Kevin's just got us some snow to keep some water going. So the water tanks are frozen. Yeah. We've got how many liters of water in that? 80 liters of water in the front water. Yeah. Well, we have to make a plan, like I said. And that's our lunch defrosting there. Nice bowl chunk of soup. Bultong soup's ready. Yep, cheesy bultong soup. With yeah, mm. with real bultong. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Yep, and the dining table's all set up. We're getting quite cozy in here, aren't we? Mm? So, what's the verdict? How does it taste? Like it was clearing up earlier, but like it's still snowing. So, yeah, I think we're gonna be here for a couple of days. That's our bush baby out in the snow. While we're in here, snug like a bug. Okay, just an update it's 2 20 pm. The locals are out and about. As you can see in the distance, there's two there, and then some of them coming back from the river. Looking beautiful. The cattle have been out all day, just going about their daily chores. Yeah, it's looking gorgeous. That's Kevin picking up firewood. Wow, that looks good. Let's see what my let's see what my hunter gatherer has brought me back. I got more. Oh wow. That's gonna keep us nice and warm tonight. I found a nice nice log there. Mm -hmm. You need some help to carry it. Oh boy. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> good morning from Kubelu, Lesotho. We stayed over last night, as you guys remember, we were snowed in. Well, it's around 7.15 a.m. this morning. You can see that the snow is melting. It's a beautiful, clear day. The river's almost frozen over. But yeah, it's rather chilly. It's minus six degrees. And we're trying to get an early start. We're hoping that the pass would be ready for us today, sometime today. So we're busy packing up and we made an, Kevin's made a nice fire. We're going to be sitting around the fireplace, having some breakfast. And hope the 
weather does its thing for us. Hopefully the snow melts and it's safe to go back onto the pass and get out of here. You will see that the snow has melted quite substantially during the course of the early hours of the morning. So that's promising. It's an hour after the last time we spoke. And there you can see the sun is coming out beautifully and melting the snow. This looks really promising. Uh, the local guy said to us that we should be able to drive out at 12. But of course we're going to assess the situation to ensure safety first. The Kevin has tried starting up Bush Baby this morning and the batteries are all cold the fuel is probably frozen so i think it's gonna take a while so kevin has devised a plan to gently persuade the fuel to warm up that's him and the locals out there who think he's crazy okay so they can hear us <laughs> I'll we'll let you know in a little bit of that part. Hey, good day guys. It's 12.25, nearly half past 12. We've decided to brave the, the pass going up Kubelu. So we'll see what the road has in store for us. Obviously we're not going to take chances if it's still slippery. But we thought we'll just get a move on and see what happens. Thanks for joining us on our journey folks. This is where unfortunately we end this episode. Let us know in the comments below if you think we make it out on this attempt or we'll spend another night in Covello. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when the next episode is out where we need to plow through the snow to get to Sunny Pass. Cheers for now, see you on the next one.